Hello there everyone, it's May and today I'm going to talk about how you can tune your instrument yourselves at home. So there's two ways we can tune our violin. We've got the pegs here and we only really use them if our violin is really, really out of tune and it needs a lot of help to get to the right note. And then at the other end, at this piece end, we have what are called our fine tuners and we only really use them when our violin's a little bit out of tune and it doesn't really need tuning up that much to get to the right note. So... For me and Matt and Rachel and Laura and Graham and everybody else at the music service, we usually can hear the notes in our heads, so we don't carry round tuners. But for you guys, I'd recommend that you get a tuner like this or download an app on your smartphone that helps you to tune your instrument. Now, I'm using my iPad here because it's bigger just for the purpose of this video to show you. And basically what it does is it tells you what you need to do with your instrument effectively to get it to the right note so whether it's sharp or flat or just lovely in tune so i'm going to show you on my tuner here how it works so you can see it has red on either side sharp and flat and then green in the middle and when our instrument is in tune it should flash up green now a word of warning these tuners are not always uh, reliable in that sometimes they do their own thing but usually they do work and they should flash up green for the most part okay so I'm going to tune my A string first because that's our universal tuning note and that's the one we always start with you can see it's kind of battling there between flat and in tune so I'm just going to tune it up a little bit and we always turn our fine tuners away from us to get it sharper and towards our face to get it flatter. And you can see the line just below the note is making sure that it's really in tune. So when it gets to 12 o'clock you could say you know it's in tune or if it flashes up green you know it's in tune. Okay, I'm happy with that. It was flashing up red a little bit, but as I said, they can be a bit temperamental. So you do that with all your strings, always starting on the A, then move to the D, then to the G, and then finish with your E because it's the highest. And that's how we tune our instrument with our fine tuners. So twizzle them in little increments towards your face to make it flatter and away from your face to make it sharper. Now let's get to the fun part. We need to talk about using our pegs now. As I said earlier, it would be really good for you not to use your pegs just to avoid breaking any strings. However, if your violin is wildly out of tune, I would recommend you getting an adult at home to help you with this. So our pegs, they go into the peg box like so, and each string has their own pegs. So A is here at the top, e is here on the bottom, G is here on this side at the bottom, and D is here on this side at the top and you can see just by looking into the peg box where they go. Now, crucial tip one for when you're tuning with your pegs is you have to push them in at the same time as twizzling them. So, if you want to get it sharper, you need to push it away from you and push it in at the same time. So I won't do my a because I've just done that. I'll choose my D string. So I'm going to make it flatter. So I've just pulled it away from me. You can hear it's gone really, really flat. And then just in little increments, I'd get it on your knee like I've got it done now. And then keep checking and in little tiny increments, pushing it in and away from you to get it sharper. And can you hear it's close to a D? And then just to make it a little bit more perfect, I'll just use the fine tuners to get it in tune. So I hope that's helped you today with learning how to tune your instrument yourself. Two top tips, avoid using the pegs if you can at all times. And if you really do need to use them, have an adult to help you. And always do it in stages no one gets any prizes for trying to tune your instrument really fast it's really important that we have them 
well in tune so that we can play in tune later when we are playing our pieces so yeah i hope that's helped and i look forward to hearing what you guys have done with your pieces bye